Morning. Starlings are about. Well, I could nearly say it's warm today. Already. We've got a big oil leak on the MX bucket. So we're just trying to take the motor off. It looks like one of the pipes is loose. So we've got the motor out. One of these is loose and is leaking hydraulic oil. We've pulled it up on the chain like that because there's gearbox oil in the gearbox, which we don't want to lose. So hopefully Andy can get that tightened up. Putting it back together now, we've put a bit of thread lock on. So hopefully this doesn't happen again. Probably will though, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got all that fixed now, thank God. Um, we don't have to go onto the little bucket, but it wouldn't have been a big problem if we did have to. Um, you know, M's not here, so it's my job again to be the gate bitch. So. On with that, aren't we, Andy? <laughs> already looking better. That's the key, good ventilation in your sheds. So we're just strawing in this outside yard. Uh, we've got plasterboard on the outside. I just thought I'd show you where it's got a bit wetter. So it's got mixed in with the muck. It's near the water trough. Um, it's very, very solid. Um, and yeah, I'd, I'd have a guess at saying if a cow laid down, even on this dark coloured part, it wouldn't get mucky because it's not wet. Might be a bit of a nightmare to muck out though because it feels fairly solid stuff like. But uh, we'll see, we'll get around to it and we'll find out. Oh, 75 got light starting in that gear. That's my beat. Business. So I'm just walking back to get my 9 meter around my big wall of beat. It is some pile. Hopefully we'll have that fed out in the next couple of months. Just got the straw grab rested on it. Oh, and we got Andy still strawing up. Next disaster of the day, the chain snapped on the fodder beat bucket. So we've got that to fix. These days just keep getting better and better. This cog, I think the bearings have gone in that as well because that is quite rough to turn. Quite difficult to turn really. It should be really free spinning. It's just the idler. But what's the tension on? 18, 10, 0, 6. Go. I've had my dinner now and I'm off, oh, if I can get this gear, I'm off to go and get a joining link for that chain that broke because we ain't got none in stock. Uh, Andy's just blasted round with the sawdust, getting rid of all that stuff and sawdust, it's not sawdust is it, it's plasterboard. But um, yeah, that's what I mean, that thing. And um, yeah, then we can get everything fixed and back up and running up. But he's got all that plasterboard used up. And now we just got to put the cows back into their pen. We've done that, we're going to put the bucket back together. But Andy, how much do you think it was for two bearings for the bucket yeah. and the joining link? Two bearings. Uh, what would you think, how much do you think that would cost? Uh, five or a bearing. Uh, 20 quid. 20 quid? Yeah. yeah. How much do you, uh, you think it should cost? Two with the fairly big, decent bearings. And a, and a joining link. Um, FX10 bearings they are, and uh, F208. So, if you're working out, let me know in the comments. I was shocked. I've got a bearing of that size, and a bearing of that size. Um, it's a new place that I've gone to, and uh, yeah, I was like, how much? So yeah, how much do you think? <laughs> me and Andy have just got us joining link back together. 
pop this on and then there's the dreaded little clip in there that everyone tries to get on <laughs> which is always a nightmare a bit of messing about we've got the joining leak on so we just need the idler pulley back on which i'll just get some wd-40 to of course um the bearings didn't seem that bad and then we'll be back in business to jake white who won the guessing the bar the weight of the barley the other day it was 8.8 .8 tons and i think jake was uh, 12 and a bit tons if i can remember uh, rightly so but most people were saying a lot more uh, on the weight so quite far off but you were the closest and you've won for the second time jake so well done well done see if this works then ah lovely jubbly look how quiet it is as well normally it's bang 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 nice and it's been a dimwit fetch me a bale of straw i've already cut this bale of silage he's going to come around now with two bales of silage i've already got one Oh, I think he realised now. Have you realised? Doing like what? It was cut when you dropped that off. <laughs> I was. You were running up there and I'm like, Andy! Andy! <laughs> I've also been a bit stupid. Andy had to get jump start this with a 6210R because I'd left the uh, Amatron box on and it drains all the power from the battery so it wouldn't start. I'm an idiot. Checking out Andy's new tractor. They must, you must have marked it Andy. No. It's rusting. <laughs> and it's got scratches. What have you been doing to it? It's John Deere, isn't it? Hey? Eh? Well, I know some people would uh, bring John Deere up about that and get it get it repainted. Job now mm -hmm. is to cut off a bent bit on our auger because it keeps catching on here, making some real banging, putting some a lot of pressure onto the bucket. What a flight should look like. That's what the bent one looks like. So I don't think we'll straighten it. So we're just, the idea is I'm just going to cut down. I can't, you can't see where my finger is there, can you? I'm going to cut down this line here just to take out. The, uh, the offending bit. Well, I ain't kidding. That took some major cutting. Major, major, major. I got the offending part out. It was a bit hot, so I used the pliers. And what I'll do now is I'll just run it over to the pressure washer and just wash the bucket out because the last thing we want is some iron filings being left in there going into the cattle's feed because it's just no good, is it? So. Uh, we just need to do all we can to try and stop that. I've just finished off feeding these guys. Shut the gates for the night. Head back round and put this to bed. So I didn't say earlier, but I drove past a garage and the price of fuel was £1.96. 95.9 pence, I think it was. It's going to get us two quid, isn't it? I mean, they're saying crude oil's going down, but... There must be a garage somewhere in England that's selling it at two quid. Jesus. Much for that reason, everything is in the shed. Leaving anything outside for the fuel thieves. No chance. Because it'll be happening very soon. You can bet. <clears throat> Prices keep rising like that. There's going to be people snooping about. So set the hounds on them. <laughs> Mini machinery tour, innit, Andy? It's in shed. Everything's in here. Well, that's about it from me and Andy today. Um, no big mick. He didn't turn up, did he? Uh, no. The uh, M weren't here, though, were you? So, wash you, so um, that's probably why. Um, don't want to come and see us, Andy, does it? <laughs> um, but yeah, Emma will be back tomorrow. Let's find out what she's been learning about at college. I think it was lambing, so we'll see if she's got any experience doing that. And big mix definitely coming tomorrow. And yeah, maybe even Ash. So we'll catch you all then. If you liked our video, make sure you like and subscribe. I know I say it every time, but it really does help us out. And um, we'll catch you all later. Cheers, guys. Bye.